Prior to the 80s, LA County used mostly Scott and MSA SCBAs. They were low pressure, 2200 PSI steel cylinder SCBAs with plastic harnesses. Uh, they were a negative pressure SCBA, they weren't positive pressure back then. In the early 80s, there was a transition made to a Survive Air Mark II positive pressure SCBA that used the same 4500 PSI cylinder, but it included some new safety features. After the Mark II SCBA, we transitioned into the Panther SCBA, which was quite a transition. It was LA County's first uh, institute into a mass-mounted regulator. Uh, it was fully positive pressure. It was NFPA approved at that point. From the Panther, we kept those approximately 10 years, and then we transitioned into the Warrior SCBA right around 2008, 2009. We also transitioned into a 45-minute cylinder, which was more new information for us in the fact that we had a larger supply of air to operate on an emergency incident. It was still high pressure, still 4,500 PSI. Honeywell bought out Spirian, so now the product is called Honeywell. They didn't retain the name. They have built a good product. They have certainly unlimited engineering to help these things happen, and they're going to they're gonna do fine in the industry with the direction they're going. The SCBAs have a, a long history of use and, and helping people out, and even though it is department policy, a lot of times it is ignored. Your lungs are very delicate. It is the piece of equipment that is protecting your airway and your lungs. It has far greater value to you as a firefighter than even your turnout coat and helmet. Uh, but guys tend to, because they have their own face piece, they don't clean them regularly. And that is asking for a malfunction. It is designed and it is our standard to clean your face piece after every use. And that includes drills to make sure they're operating correctly. And that should be done. If the guy wants optimal performance, that's what he's gonna do with his face piece. Secondly, it's, not, it's uncomfortable, and I realize we get past the initial fire, we go into overhaul, and guys want to unload equipment. And I'm an advocate of go down to a brush coat, use your structure gloves, keep your brush or your turnout pants on and your boots for protection, but keep wearing your SCBA. A lot of times the things you come in contact with in overhauling a building, whether it's a large commercial building or a single family dwelling, the chemicals and things that are off-gassing there at that time are worse for you than the initial fire. The, the one thing I could recommend to any new firefighter is be familiar with and learn to be comfortable with wearing your SCBA. That's on the fire ground and that's during overhaul phase. It is providing protection for you and that is the one thing you can do to save yourself from down the road injuries and accumulation of chemicals that are gonna be harmful to you. Retirement is gonna get here sooner than you think. Uh, even if you spend a lot of time on the job, it still gets here pretty quickly. Enjoy your time on the job, but also protect yourself for you and your family. Mm -hmm.